Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more Red Dead Redemption. Um, last video we were unsurprisingly betrayed by DeSanta and Allende. I'm sorry if I'm butchering those names. I'm trying my best, I promise. Um, so Reyes saved us, uh, but it was a close call. We were almost shot in the head. I was very angry. I knew I didn't like them. I knew that I couldn't trust them, but I wasn't expecting them to do that. Uh, but that means we still have not caught up with Bill and Javier, so we still have to do that, which I'm dreading. Uh, I'm excited and dreading, if that makes sense. So I don't really know. I'm excited to keep playing. Um, we had a couple different missions up on the map. You guys also pointed out some stranger missions that were on the map that I had missed, so I'm going to try to do some of those as well, uh, because apparently at some point we go out of Mexico up to the northern region, like the Tall Trees area, uh, and I don't want to miss the Stranger Missions down here in Mexico if we happen to leave soon, because I don't know how much more time I'm going to be down here. Um, so I'm probably going to start with those and then get into a main mission or two and see where it goes depending on time. There was also a letter that I forgot to read from the Sam Odessa, uh, I think that was his name, the guy who was trying to make it to California, who we kept running into and then eventually found dead. So I am going to read that letter as well because I forgot to read that a couple of episodes ago. So thank you for everyone who pointed that out to me. Um, as always, keep pointing things out to me if I'm missing something or if there's something I haven't done yet that you would like to see, and I will try my best. I'm not going to promise, but I will try my best to do it. Uh, if you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. Here we go, you guys. All right, so I think you guys said that there was a stranger mission in El Matadero. So I'm going to check there and see if there's anything there. I don't have anything on my map right now, but that doesn't mean it won't pop up once I'm there. <clears throat> Hopefully there is. Because, oh my god, I, like almost run off this cliff every single time. It's like an occurrence every time I play. Alright, I'm gonna fast travel there just for sake of time. John can't be coughing like that. It's too soon! Hope he just has dust in his throat. Come on. This is not where I wanted to be. How did I even get in here? <laughs> That's a dead end. Get me out of here! Am I going to die if I... <laughs> that was lucky. Alright, where am I trying to go? This is not it. Right there. Haha. <laughs> oh, and that's what I need for my outfit. Sweet. Okay. Come here, horsey. Oh, I guess I don't really need him. I'm right here. <laughs> Why wouldn't it put me here? Why did it put me in the cave? It's so random. Yeah, sorry I called you. I didn't need you. I lied. Where's the door? Just hang out with these horses over here. Oops. You all right, friend? I guess. I'm still alive. 
cheery kind of fella, ain't you? Haven't got much to be cheerful about. Don't guess I do neither. I came here to make my fortune. I got a job so I could marry my beloved. She says she is still waiting for me, but I will never get out from here. I will never see Shanghai again. I'll live and die in the dust. Why not? I'm indentured. We all are. We're little more than slaves. Slaves? They ain't slaves, gringo. Not slaves at all. They just have to do a month's work to get a month's pay. Don't you, Zhao? Yes, sir. And let this man go free. This man signed a contract. If the law don't respect contracts, the law don't respect nothing. Ain't that right, Zhao? Come on. Give this man his freedom. This man owes me $10,000 if he breaks his contract. It's written down clear as day. Let him go. <laughs> I'll tell you what, gringo, cowboy. Get me oh, I don't know. Get me a white stallion like a real cowboy rides. And this dog is yours to keep. <laughs> Okay, so is that like a Hungarian half-breed or whatever it's called that I had? Where did I get that? Well, I guess I'll just ride around. <laughs> and then if I see one, I will grab it. Where did Louisa go? Wasn't she up here? Oh, she's over here. Alright, I guess let's go pay Ray as a visit. He's kind of close. And on my way, I'll keep my eyes open for a white horse. Hey! Watch where you point that thing. So you mean to tell me Reyes is going to live this close to the military people? He's like next door neighbors with them. <laughs> I guess you want to be the least, the last place they would expect you. No, not another train! Oh, so many trains in these games I'm playing. Where is Abraham Reyes? Here, amigo! Here! Well, 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 look who it is! The American bandit turned bounty hunter who is about to win the Mexico Revolution! I don't know about that, mister. No, but I do, Mr. John Marston, I do. A man like you, or me, with... With just a few such men, I tell you, I could rule the entire country. Hey, hermanos unidos, set my people free! Yeah. Libre Mexico! Yeah. Mexico! Yeah. Libre Mexico! Yeah. Mexico! Yeah. Mexico! Yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Mexico. Yeah. Their energy is, 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 uh, is like food to me. I feel I was sent for them and they were sent to me. Good for you. Uh, when I rule these people, I shall be fair and judicious and wise. How so, do you ask? Very simple. I know these people. I know this land. In, in short, I can make them better. It must be pleasant to be a man so at one with his destiny. I, mio, I don't do it for myself, John Marston. I do it for my people. Well, exactly. Sarcasm, my friend, should be beneath a man such as you, don't you think? Very little is beneath a man such as me. 
Okay, well, well, in that case, I assume a little robbery will be a pleasant day's work. All in a good cause, of course. Come, my brother. Let us strike while the iron is hot. Vámonos, mis hermanos. Let's go. Up there. Got a little Come excited down, there. Jump. Are my sources correct? Have you come to Mexico to murder your two best friends? Not exactly. We were friends once. A lot's changed since then. Now that we are friends, I hope you will give me some warning if you get a sudden urge to kill me. You'll be the first to know when I kill you, I promise. So where are they? Who? Williamson and Escuela. I'm not sure exactly where. They are definitely in Mexico. That much I know already. You that told me you found them. And I will. I have my very best man working on it. If I find out you're lying to me, Reyes, you'll really see the man I used to be. I will give you your friends, I promise. Just give me time. So how did you meet these Williamson and Escuella? We ran in the same gang together. Under a fella called Dutch. We were all bad kids. Lost, angry, and forgotten. He kind of saved us. And turned you into criminals? Dutch didn't see us that way. We robbed banks, stole from the rich, and we gave the money to people who needed it more. So he was a revolutionary too, like me? I suppose. He saw that the system of power was rotten, that good people had been crushed for too long, and he believed that change could only succeed if it was brutal and relentless. Make America what he felt it was supposed to be. I like the sound of this man, Dutch. Another violent idealist. Where is he now? I don't know. But I gotta find him once I'm done with them two. In the end, he went insane. Lost faith in everything. In everyone. Andale! You have quite a story, John Marston. I really am a little jealous. Mierda, you're slowing us down, Marston. Jealous? Of his poetic potential, I mean. He would make an excellent corrido. A bullfight? No, mi hermano. That is a corrida. No, a corrido is as Mexican as Mexico itself. A song, a poem. Oh, watch what you're writing. Come on, John. We have to get the chubarosa. My writing skills are the best. We must stay together, my friend. Yes, I'm staying with you. Hey, keep telling your story. I saw enough to know he ain't a good man. It is bad enough he beats the people he's forced to protect, but it is worse that he enjoys it. Something must have made him that way. Cowardice made him that way, my friend. That and Sanchez, of course. Who? General Ignacio Sanchez, our country's kind and generous dictator. Everything comes from him. It is like a father who beats his son, and then the son takes his dog outside and rapes him. That's a very specific example, Allende Abraham. Es una marioneta. How do you say a, a, a puppet? Everything he does is controlled by Sanchez. In America, they told us Sanchez was making things better here. Pinche propaganda. He talks about economic reform, about how this is a new golden age for Mexican people. But look around you. The people are poorer than ever. Allende is nothing more than a perrito for General Sanchez. A what? A little puppy dog that leaves his feet and makes him feel loved. If he asked Allende to eat the shit out of his puro, Allende would do it. That's a loyal dog. Sanchez isn't stupid. He knows the only way to keep power is to control the countryside, the peasants. And for that, he needs vicious idiots like Allende. Not far now. Chuparosa is just up ahead. We must hurry. The train will be leaving soon. What's on that train that's so important? I received information that the army is transporting a vast quantity of supplies to distribute to their forces. Do we have a plan? I will explain when we get there. But those supplies won't be arriving. I figured as much. Today, Allende will pay a high price for his treason.
What crappy weather for a train heist. So listen, this train is filled with valuable supplies we need, but it's also filled with government troops. We'll set up a very loud distraction, you can board the train, and then you can disconnect the army cars, huh? Okay. Okay, but listen, we've got to get this done before the train rolls out of the station. You make it sound so easy. <laughs> well, did I not promise you fun times, amigo? Huh? This dude is crazy. There are too many soldiers. We must surprise them. Here, take this knife. You can use it to kill the guards quietly. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Jung. Wait until I distract them. Then get on that train as fast as you can, Jung. are unlimited. brightest day. Ooh. 
to see this last guy. Oops. Oh, there you are. Apparently he didn't hear any of the commotion that was going on. Or he thought, if I pretend I don't hear it, he'll just let me live. So I'm just gonna stand here. Train. Magnificent! Go ahead and blow the armored car and take whatever you need, my brother. Vámonos. What is going on with that guy's hair? Quick, brother, we don't have much time. Come on, my friend. Get the house open. Oh my god, run! This is so stupid, but it reminds me of like that first mission that you did with the train with all your gang members. There's nothing in here. Just a little something for my troubles. Move left stick right to search for the first number of the combination. If the dial is moved in the opposite direction, you must start over. You don't have to restart if you miss it. It's interesting. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm just like it. <laughs> that little trumpet flourish is my favorite. I'm sure, but I need to know where Williamson and Escuela are hold up. All in good time, amigo. I'm off to deliver these goods. I'll see you back at the ranch. Oh, my spies tell me they soon will have the information you need. I'm so sick of all these people just using us. Like, I feel like this is what's going to happen with Reyes, too. 
we're gonna he's gonna use us to do what he needs to get done because he knows that we'll be able to do it well and then he's gonna be like mm, just kidding steal horses, which means I can steal a white horse. Uh, where did I get it, though? Maybe I should go... Is this the place that... Where is the place that had the horse-breaking jobs? Oh, Chuparosa. Right here. Maybe I should try there and see if they have any white horses in the stable. Sounds like a good thought to me. Damn it, there's no horse. been too easy, huh? Getting a phone call. <laughs> Sorry if you can hear that. Hey, senor. Just try to take this. Friend? Manos arriba. Until us. Tranquilo. Tranquilo, amigo. Tranquilo. Ya lo tengo. Mueve ese cabrón. El mundo es muy difícil. Hmm. Tenemos que jugarlo bien. Uh -huh. Ah, Mr. Marston, I knew you would come. Thanks for the welcoming committee. I'm sorry, we cannot be too. Sorry, when the same number calls me twice, I need to make sure it's not something I need to answer. Careful. The world is very dangerous. Especially when you greet it with a gun. Please. Mr. Marston, my father was killed yesterday. The army found him and accused him of treason. They cut out his heart and fed it to their dogs. Allende did this. Then he took the honor of two young girls. I'm sorry to hear that, Louisa. My father must not die in vain. His death must mean something. It'll mean that war is brutal and unnecessary and good people die. And that's all it will mean. That is not enough. Well, you know I'll do whatever I can. But I have problems of my own. We all have problems. This is about the people. My father died for his people. For these men and for millions like them that they may be free. While there are guns, and money, there won't be any freedom, Louisa. Mr. Marston, the movement is on the brink of great victory. Allende knows this and has sent for reinforcements. Abram Reyes asked personally that you stop them reaching Escalera. They are coming by the old trail. You must ambush them. I have my own family to worry about. Mr. Marston, I have lost my father. My mother is in the United States. My sister has fled. I have no family, just because. Please, good actions make you a good man. Then I'm doomed. But I will help you, out of respect for your loss. Thank you, Mr. Marston. Thank you. 
See, you say you're doomed, but then you do stuff like this come all on. the time. The army convoy is already on its way. Alright, and it was requested that I don't skip to the destination from here on out, because there's good conversations. Sorry about your father. His death must not be in vain. Now we shall fight even harder to win power for Abraham. I admire your devotion. He is a true revolutionary. A man who puts the needs of others before his own. A man who fights out of love rather than hate. But you know this already. I heard about the battle at Chuparosa. How he killed nearly a hundred soldiers to save your life. It'll go down in legend. I'm sure of that. Can I trust you, Mr. Marston? In what way? You have done so much for me and my family. But I still can't forgive you for helping Allende. For what you did to the rebels. I'm here for two men, that's it. Not to take sides. And certainly not to fight a war that isn't mine. It makes no sense. You make a choice by not making a choice, you know. Allende betrayed me. I saw him do bad things. Things that disgust even me. Allende is pura maldad. One day I will cut his heart out. But me, you, him, we're all shooting people. Don't really seem like we're so very different. The difference is why, Mr. Marston? The ideals we hold, there can never be revolution without blood. Until people forget what they're shooting for, and just enjoy killing for its own sake. You Americans forget too quickly. That is the problem. If it wasn't for your revolution, you would still be making tea for the English. At least we knew where we stood. It's more difficult to understand why your own people treat you like shit. It is the same here. We fought off the Spanish. We fought off the French. We even fought off the Americans. Finally, Mexico won its independence, and all we've done since then is fight each other. At least you're keeping up tradition. It will end when Abraham takes control. When the Spanish left, we renamed this province Nuevo Paraíso, New Paradise. One day, it will live up to its name. so much, Mr. Marston. I guess I can't pretend to understand your country's politics. But you think we are fighting for nothing? Take no notice of me. I ain't got much faith in power just now. That is exactly why we must continue to fight for change. Nothing ever really changes. You are a man who has lost his spirit. No doubt. I once believed it was possible to make a difference. The men I'm chasing, they did too. Then, if we spilled enough blood, we can change the way people think. Revolutions are always won with blood. And after the fighting's done? Free them. We ain't never free. Be honest with yourself, and you will be free. That must I be what I've been getting wrong all these years. Stay there. Thank you again for helping my mother and Miranda to escape. If only I'd sent my father as well. You did everything you could. They know nothing of my father's death. It feels terrible, but it isn't safe for them here anymore. After we win, they can return to a new Mexico. What about you? I will stay and fight. I am ready to die if necessary. Emilio too. We are a close family. Do you have children, Mr. Marston? I have a son at home and a daughter in heaven. Is he looking after your wife? I hope so. He's not much younger than you, but I don't know. He's still young. We tried to God, he's gonna be him. so old now. Give him a gentler childhood than what we had. Guess I failed at that. What is his name? Jack. Jack Marston. I ain't been much of a father. We tried to hide the bad from him growing up, but he saw things he shouldn't. It is not far now. The army convoy will be coming from the east. We going to steal their supplies? No, destroy them and kill everyone. Abraham wants to send a message. Do you have experience with explosives? A little. It's been a long time. Good, because we do not. You will man the detonator. My men are waiting there for us. They will also need your help setting up the dynamite. I'll do my best. We will do this for my father, John. There they are. These men will help you rig dynamite on the road. Please tell them where to place it. I'll be waiting up above, watching for the wagons. Okay, follow me, gentlemen. 
Last time we set up dynamite was with Arthur. Oh, in the road? I thought we were blowing up the bridge. Where is the detonator? We must be fast. The convoy will be here soon. Very one right here. In here. Maybe I should go this way. Here's good. Should I be doing it in the road? I'm doing it on the side of the road. Can I reset? I don't like where I put those. <laughs> Scratch that. Dig them all up. Todos a sus posiciones. They are coming. Get ready, John. I and they will fall eventually. I have faith that could move mountains. Look, they are coming. I think I want to start with this one and then work my way backwards. Oh, I could just hit B to look at the convoy. <laughs> Well done. That's okay. Could have been worse. Oh, hey, actually, that went pretty well. Thank you, Mr. Woo. Marston. We are a step closer to power. My father would be very proud. I hope it was worth it. I must return to Campo Mirada. Meet me there when you can. I will do my best to return the favor. Oh my gosh, my phone is like going crazy. <laughs> All right, do any of them have white horses? I think I'm just gonna buy the deed just to get this over with. Um, where are you going? Uh, where are we closest to? I don't wanna go to Escalera. Well, I guess they're not in the town. They're up on the hill. Okay, we'll go there. Maybe on the way we'll see one so we don't have to buy it. Let's go. Two of them. Okay. Oh, you're so 
pretty. I feel so bad. Unfortunately, I have to go bring you to a douchebag. So, oh, that's so far away. <laughs> it's gonna take me forever. Sorry, I can't help anybody right now. I if I lose this horse, it's gonna take me forever to go back and get another one. <laughs> so I'm gonna be evil and I'm gonna ignore you. Wow, look at that sunrise? I don't know what time it is. Sunset. Well, if on our mini map the arrow is north, that would be the sunrise. It's really pretty. Regardless of what it is. Well, Zhao, looks like you are a free man. I cannot thank you enough, sir. I am going home to my beloved! I hope you have a long and happy life together. And you know what's awesome? Pretty sure I could steal that horse now. for stealing a horse. I should have put my mask on. Oops. Okay, um, I should probably go someplace and pay off my bounty. station, right? Allende y Reyes son hermanos. I had enough of being hassled around here. You know by freedom for cárcel again. Jail is next time. Okay. I need to... Go. Look and see. <laughs> it's gonna put you right here with these horses. Okay, I need to look and see. I took a screenshot of the different places there are stranger missions here. So I just need to reference that real quick. I don't know what I did with it. Alright, well. I guess I'll have to check next time I'm responding to comments. What is going on here? Are they dragging someone around? Oh no! 
with my lasso. Shoot. killing the wrong people. Alright, let's do another mission. We got a stranger one right here. Sure, let's do it. Enjoy the scenery? I guess I have. What are you doing out here? You know, I'm trying to capitalize on the stiff upward breezes in this region to launch my first ever flight. You're gonna try to use that crazy thing to fly? You I'll be soaring like first. an eagle, or my name's not Charles Kinnear. I should be the first man swooping through this valley. Yes, I shall. I'd leap off now, only it seems like I need more adhesive to keep the wings together. I've concocted my own special formula since that store-bought stuff isn't strong enough. However, I can't abandon my machine to gather more materials. What kind of materials are you talking about, Charles Kinnear? I need a bunch of bird feathers, doesn't matter what kind, along with a parcel of beaver hides to boil down, along with some red sage to make it all pliable. Okay. That's a lot of ingredients. I think I can find all that stuff. I'll be back, Charles. Because you leaping off that cliff is something I have to watch. Oh, they doubted dear Icarus, <laughs> sir. Yes, they did! Yes, and then Icarus burned up in the sun. Probably not the best person to reference. Yes, yes. Alright, so for this, I'm definitely going to do it all off camera, and then before I turn them in, I'll record. But collecting those on camera would not be something that would be fun to watch. Okay. I guess let's go do this one more mission with Louisa. horse is now my trusty steed. How am I supposed to get up there? If I lean, I can see. No. Nope. <gasps> get off me. Put a 
is it? Ah, my son. John! Are we gonna kill John. him finally? Thank God you have come. That wretched animal the Santa has been sent to oversee a massacre in El Sepulcro. Come, we must stop him and finally kill that vermin and all of Allende's other followers. Hurry, I don't know how much time we have. Oh, she's right there. Maybe the Santa can tell you where to find Javier Escuela. He might be able to, but I doubt he will. Although he is pretty slimy, so maybe if he thinks it will save his life, he'll tell us. It is good that you are helping Luisa. It ain't right what happened to her father. She's a brave girl. She can fight as well as any man. She ain't the only woman I've seen fighting for Reyes. Yes, women. Even children. Everybody must become a soldier if we are to win this war. That's a lot to sacrifice. I just hope it's worth it. It is better to die free than live a slave. Let's go! Were you a soldier once, compadre? A soldier? No. I was never much good at taking orders. So where did you learn about explosives? I guess some banks ain't easy to get into on weekends. It was impressive what you did at the bridge, destroying that convoy. The army is getting weaker by the day. I'm sure there's more supplies where those came from. We will destroy those too? I get they scared and making mistakes. We are closer to victory than you think. El Sepulcro is just up ahead. All right. The bird has seen a glitch in the matrix. We don't want to give him a chance to escape. And leave DeSanta to me. I need him alive. We will wait for your lead, senor. En el nombre del gobierno provincial del coronel Allende y del estado de este país, te condeno a muerte por traición. ¿Tienes algunas últimas palabras? No. Come on, quick! He made him dig his own grave. He's gonna get away. Horace, where are you? If this was Siri, she would have already been here. Then a Linde! Stay away from me! Oh, it's about freaking time. Come Thank on. you. can understand that. <gasps> All right. Don't make Let's me get you back you to where we're supposed to be. Please, we can come to an agreement. Mm, you tried to kill me. We can't. We had an agreement. Let's go. You broke it. My men will kill you. 
I don't think they will. I'm feeling pretty confident about this yeah. one. Think about what you are doing. <sighs> no. <laughs> Let me go. Get up. I am begging you. Okay, get him. I'm just like, get this scoundrel off my butt. John's pissed. You fucking pig! Go back to your country! Where is I will be back there. He told me what I needed to know. Wait, wait, wait! Okay, alright, alright. Shit. Alright. Casa Madrugada. It's hold up there. Oh, hurry up and kill me. Or just let me go, okay? Ooh. Can we kill this piece of shit now, senor? Or would you like to pleasure yourself? It was Allende, not me. Now we're even, Captain. Bye. It is done. Come on. Now we find your friend. Are you crazy? We cannot stop now. Come on. You can't give up now. I am glad. I'm not giving up. I'm trying to find my you. horse. Get back on your horse. We don't have time for this. Wow, you are like a sad. There's some things you gotta finish yourself. That man is responsible for hundreds of innocent deaths, maybe thousands. He will burn in hell. We all will, my friend. First, you need to help me find Javier Escuela. Oh, it's just that one guy? I thought they were all coming with me. Why are you looking for Javier Escuela? We was friends once. Long time ago. Not anymore. All friends make their worst enemies. You're telling me. Escuela is known in this province. He was a revolutionary once, but then he went to your country. Now they say he kills for anybody who will pay. That sounds oh, yeah. about right. Go! I'm so nervous, my heart is racing. to <laughs> can I stop and wait for next video yeah. <laughs> no because I don't want to this place is deserted is it always this quiet no but maybe the girls are all occupied <laughs> I do not have the right gun out. Quick, go! Anybody else? Come up below! That was too close to my life! Where is it? Where is it? Ooh! Sorry! She's already dead and I just keep shooting her. So I'm gonna guess that Javier is not here. Again. Hey, you lady. Another trap. Hmm. Where's Javier Escuela? <laughs> Javier Escuela. He hasn't been seen around here in months. You shot up this place for him, huh? I wouldn't spit on him if he was on fire. I don't blame you. But Captain DeSanta said he was here. <laughs> and you believe him? You must be more stupid than you look. <laughs> All right, honey. Go shoot up some place sauce. <coughs> Ugh. Classy. I 
thought it was weird that he would be here because I was like, we've just been there. I don't think the game would... I mean, it's old, but I don't think it would be that unintelligent to let us be here and then be like, oh, just kidding, Javier was hiding with a prostitute the entire time. I mean, he could be, but not here. <laughs> Alright, so once again, DeSanta gave us wrong information, which we should have known. Once again, we thought we were going to finally catch up to Bill and Javier, and we did not. So I don't know when the heck we're going to catch up to them. Everyone keeps saying that he's in Mexico, but now I'm wondering if he's actually, well, if they're both actually up in the Tall Trees region, because I know that I'm going to go there at some point and that I can't get there yet because the bridge isn't there. So I'm wondering if they're actually not in Mexico or as we progress through the story here, if we find that they fled back up to the United States. I don't really know what to expect at this point, and I'm, I don't know if I'm going to keep getting more and more anxious every time we think we found them because it's more likely we actually have, or if I'm going to be like, yeah, okay, it's another false alarm. It's, I don't know. This time I was like freaking out again that we were going to catch them, even though I thought it was weird that the location that he ended up being in, um, or that DeSanta said he was going to be in. So I don't know how I'm going to feel. I'm still very anxious. I'm, I'm glad to know that I have options for killing versus bringing in. Um, thank you guys for keeping that for the most part spoiler free. Um, if we can remain keeping spoiler three, that would be great. Uh, I do have Mr. Light reading through the comments to make sure that I'm not responding to anything that aren't things that I figured out on my own or things along those lines. So I don't know. I'm anxious. I want to try to keep whoever I can keep alive alive, but we'll see how it goes. I just, I just really want to keep playing and I really am excited for the story. So I hope that you're enjoying the playthrough. If you are and you haven't already, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. And as always, thank you so much for watching you guys. Have a great day.